SWAT TEAMS CONVERGE ON A QUIET SUBURBAN STREET TONIGHT, AND WHEN IT IS OVER, POLICE GET THEIR MAN. A MAN, THEY SAID, DID SOMETHING TRULY SHOCKING. Good evening. I'm David Navarro. Bill is off. And I'm Shade Benarinwa. It all began earlier today with a gruesome scene in Jersey City. A woman and a three-month-old baby thrown out of a window, then beaten with a table. A massive, frantic manhunt for the guy who allegedly did it that ended tonight in Belleville. We were the first ones to report the news of the arrest tonight on our website, 7 Online. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Begase also broke details from the scene on Twitter. He joins us now from Jersey City. Jeff? And Sade, the suspect's name is Frederico Bruno, and right now he's across the street in a police precinct right down the uh, block. He's being interviewed in what's called the box by detectives as they learn to find out why this happened. Right now he's been charged with aggravated assault, but those are charges that are expected to be upgraded on Monday to attempted murder and robbery. Late tonight, Jersey City Police made it official, announcing the arrest of Frederico Bruno. Eyewitness News was there in Belleville when police took him into custody. He is accused of pushing his ex-girlfriend and three-month-old son out of a third-floor window. Law enforcement sources tell us a tip led them to Watsessing Avenue in Belleville. Bruno's brother, Jeff Agnett, lives there. But did they bust down the door? Did they I have no slip idea. a note in? Oh, you weren't in there? Nope. I've been out here the whole time. I have no idea. I know just as much as you do about what's going on in there. Belleville police called in the Newark SWAT team who then went door to door after evacuating the building. They found Bruno hiding in a fridge. His brother says he can't believe it came to this. Emotions are high right now and I'm trying to hold myself together, you know, especially since it is a baby that was involved. That's, that's what matters the most is the baby. It all started shortly before 7 a.m. According to police, Bruno was hiding in his ex-girlfriend's third floor Rutgers Avenue apartment. She walked in with a female friend. According to investigators, Bruno stabbed the friend multiple times. And then police say he stabbed his ex-girlfriend numerous times and then threw her out of the window with their three-month-old son. But the brutal attack didn't end there. He climbed down and he then viciously beat her again with the table he found in the rear yard. The police chief vowed that his officers would not rest until Bruno was in custody. Tonight, he is. You know, I never saw this coming. I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just in shock, man. I'm just, I'm really in shock right now. And a lot of people are, especially when they hear about the brutality of this crime. All three victims are in critical condition. A source tells me that the three-month-old boy is fighting for his life at this hour. We're live in Jersey City. Jeff Begay's Channel 7 Eyewitness News. What a story, Jeff.